Hello there, everyone. How is it going? It's February. We are not done with February yet, but we are in the middle of February, and I am finishing up all United States and Navajo Reservation now. I'm actually doing Native American reservations as well when it comes to payroll. We are not stopping. We're going to try to get it all done before the 29th of February this year. And I wanted to talk about Maryland today. So this is going to be a rather long video because Maryland is sort of complicated. But if you need to figure out how to um, withhold for residents of Maryland and what county they're in and how the formula is calculated or you're interested in getting a payroll file for your small business to run your own payroll, this file is awesome. And I'll show you how Maryland state tax is calculated. So if you have employees in Maryland, they're going to need to fill out something. It's the MW-507, which is the withholding form. It's like the Maryland version of the W-4 or whatever. They want to know some things about your employee. They want to know, are you single? Are you married uh, or head of household? Married or, you know, you're, you're filing under the married status. Or are you married filing separately or married but withhold at single rate? Got to check one of these boxes. Uh, when they check one of those boxes, that's what goes here when you've chosen their employee. What's, what's their status? Single, married at single rate, or married. There's that part. Then they want to know how many exemptions is the person claiming. And they can go through this whole table. We won't go through this calculation right now about how many exemptions they're allowed to get. But depending on in income level, it can be limited to a certain number. So let's just say it's one, right? Well, if it's one, that's what goes right here in the state exemption. If the person is exempt from tax, which is what all these other questions are about, after the, uh, it, you know, no more additional withholding that you want each pay period, but all these other ones are types of exemptions or where this person lives. If they are exempt from tax, then you have an exempt line right here that you can choose. But uh, let's assume that nobody's exempt. Now, another part to that MW507, County of Residence. In Maryland, tax is kind of complicated because there are so many counties and each county has a different supplemental tax rate. Well, in this file, we've set it up so that you just have to choose your Maryland County. Let's say we're in Howard County. The rate's going to change automatically right here. So I have a formula set up. So as soon as you pick the county, you're going to be able to see what Wicomico. I've never even heard of that county. These are all I wonder what Baltimore City is. Baltimore City is all the way at the bottom because that's a different one than Baltimore County, which apparently is still the same rate. Anyway, point is there's a ton of different counties you can choose from, and it's automatically going to change the rate here to what it's supposed to be. So there's that part. Well, once you've filled in all that information from your employee, now we start to get into how the all this information is actually figured into the formulas. So I've had some compensation for these fake Pokemon employees that we have in here. Cole Wassel is a Pokemon character. So now let's talk about how we're going to really figure the tax. So let's say that this is a, a payroll file that's recording this semi-monthly. So there are two pay periods per month. And in the first pay period of the year, uh, you know, the end of December of last year, that you get, but it gets paid in January of this year, it was $5,000 over this, you know, 15-day period probably, 15 or 16-day period. Well, here's the way you do this in Maryland. You can annualize your wages and then apply a bunch of different formulas to figure out what the tax should be withheld for the state and also what should be withheld for that local county that we were talking about. Like for Colossal, it's Anne Arundel County at this point at 2.81% that's being withheld. So it matters what the county is that's chosen. So first thing you do is you annualize your wages. You take whatever that 5,000 was, you're gonna multiply it by the number of pay periods in the year. It's 24 pay periods for a payer that's operating semi-monthly like we're looking at in this file right now. Uh, you also then subtract out 3,200 times the number of exemptions that they claimed. That exemption number was right there. You can re reduce that from their income. And then you're going to also reduce this allowance for standard deduction, which has to do with 15% of your gross income. It starts to get complicated for no reason, right? Here's, here's the withholding guide for Maryland. They're allowing you to deduct up to $2,300 a year if 15% of your uh, of your 
gross income is more than $2,300 a year, you're now allowed to deduct another $2,300 a year from your gross income to be taxed or whatever. That's what they're saying. So that's a formula here that is checking for that to determine what the um, what that 15% allowance actually is, which is being calculated right here. So you get your, your Maryland annual taxable wages, this number here. Now you have to apply a couple different formulas to figure it out and then determine which one's correct and then also remember to add in your local tax. So there's a formula here, it's a nested if formula that is looking at this adjusted um, taxable amount and taxing 4.75% on the first $100,000 if you're single or married filing separately. If you're in the married status or head of household status, it's doing a slightly different rate, taxing the first $150,000 and then staggering up 4.75%, um, 4 5%, 5.25%, 5.5%, 5.75%. It goes up by 0.25 um, percentage points or whatever every wave in this if formula. So it just figures out based on your status what you should be withholding and then this formula right here picks the right one depending on what the status of this person is. So this person and then it rounds it also to the nearest dollar because it's always good to round. You don't have to look at pennies if you don't need to and state withholding is a good thing that you can round to the near, nearest dollar on. So this person is in the married status. We can tell. Yep, they are in married status because it's pulling the married status uh, number right here. And uh, this is just taking your um, county percentage rate right here and multiplying it by this adjusted, adjusted uh, gross income number right here to get the, the city tax. So to do all those things is how you figure out what goes to the state and what goes to the county. And this is Maryland County tax right now. So um, you now have all different reporting options. You know, we have like a pay stub here showing you how the breakdown happens. It's a Maryland tax and what's a county tax for this first pay period. We also have reports. So you look at your 941 report, which is automatic here. Say you had to remit money to Maryland for the first month. You could just choose the first month of January and see that your Maryland wages were 19,500, your Maryland tax was 855, but your county taxes for all the different counties for your employees was 539. So that's what you would owe Maryland. You, you pay the sum of the two. Um, so there, there are ways that all the counties are reported and also have different reports in here where you can kind of refresh and look at your salaries of your employees by county if you wanted to look at it that way, or you can flip it around and look at it by employee. Um, or however you want to browse through your payroll data. That's what's so great about this file. It's so dynamic and you can just start messing around. Everything's automatic as soon as you've done everything right. You know, here's your W-2 layout and it shows Anne Arundel County and the amount going to the county and the amount going to the state. So Maryland tax is a little bit complicated um, due to the, the Maryland filing status, the state exemptions and the choosing of the county. Um, I haven't set it up for non-residents or residents working in Delaware, but I can if your business needs it. So you can always let me know. Go to KenBraverman.com or ask me. Or if you need a copy of this file, these things are going at like $100 a pop. I've got, um, I'm going to get all 50 states in there. We're, we've got like 12 or 13 to go, I think. We're working hard, so we're going to get there soon. But um, anyway, happy payrolling.